from this video you will know what is permissible stress what do you mean by factor of safety and number 3 how you find the permissible stress of concrete hello friends i am somedi back to with new tutorial video regarding permissible stress in working stress method in my last video i discussed the assumptions of beam design in wsm method in case you did not watch this video or you can you missed this video definitely there you find the i button go and check out otherwise you go to the otherwise you go to the playlist section and definitely find last video from this series so without the further delay let's get started before starting this video if you learn something new from this video then definitely like the video share and subscribe my channel because this helps me a lot and this helps also youtube algorithm for growing this channel so first understand first understand permissible stress permissible stress so first i talk about a little bit what do you mean by stress although it i i discuss in stress in my strength of material playlist you either you want to know in detail go this playlist and check out this stress concept so basically stress equal to a load by area but what actual it means that means internal resisting force internal resisting force per unit area and it is kind of tensor quantity and its unit is newton per mm square or kilo newton per meter square okay now we talk about the permissible stress permissible stress but the term permissible is called permission it comes from your permission that means simple word permission stress matlab how much stress you permit to design this thing that is why what we will do generally we know we know the ultimate stress of concrete and definite that is within the elastic limit number 2 we want to know factor of safety for concrete if we find these two things then we can say permissible stress equal to ultimate stress divided by that factor of safety that is the basic formula right? permissible stress now we talk about so what do you mean by factor of safety now factor of safety that is equal to ultimate stress by allowable stress i give you a small example suppose suppose your capacity your capacity is eating 10 sweets per day but i am allowing you eating four sweets per day so what is my factor of safety that means i am safe but how much safe so 10 by 4 that is 2.5 but if i am allowing you eating 15 sweets per day then what happen then factor of safety equal to 
10 by 15 that is 0 0.66 it is unsafe unsafe so if factor of safety greater than 1 it is safe factor of safety equal to 1 it is ok factor of safety less than word that means unsafe hope now clear what do you mean by factor of safety ok so we understand what is the permissible stress we understand what is your factor of safety but now we have to understand what is the value for the factor of safety for concrete so factor of safety for concrete for understanding factor of safety for concrete there is a two factor of safety one factor of safety for direct compression number two factor of safety for direct bending this is a two factor of safety for the concrete for direct compression the value is 3 direct bending the value is 4 this is the value where you will find you will find from i score because everything you should refer for i score this is the bhagavad gita for for construction okay so now we have to find out then what is the permissible stress for concrete as per grade here we have mentioned m15 m20 m25 m30 m35 m40 m40 m50 okay so first we take the m15 15 is your characteristic compressive strength okay then one thing i have to clarify once this is your bending compression okay so bending compression allowable stress sigma cbc is 15 by 3 that is 5 and direct bending sigma cbc 15 by 4 that is 3 12 3.75 that means 4 so here the data is matched so this is how you have to find the value for m20 m25 so on so yeah this is all about your permissible stress for concrete so hope you enjoyed this video if you have any kind of doubt do comment in comment section i will definitely get back to you and if you find some value from this video then definitely share this video subscribe my channel for getting this kind of content and yes this all things helps me lot and motivate me to making such kind of content for you and this helps also the youtube algorithm for growth purpose so yeah in next video we'll talk about permissible stress for steel for steel okay so yeah till then thank you for watching this video we'll meet and see you soon goodbye take care